let's go ahead and do the data analysis with the augmentation technique. We are going to do here data augmentation for the cats and dog images. So we are going to take those two images here and then we will be trying to do the augmentation on our generated images. I mean whatever the generator will take the image and then we will see that how the data is augmented. So basically what I'm going to do here, I'm going to create a new column here. So those column I'm going to create here in fact. You know this part we have already uh, seen in previous lesson all these things i'm just going to create here with import os and then i'm going to make here directory so make dirs and in that i make here sample data in that first i make here dogs data and obviously i need to do here os dot make dir thereafter i'm just going to copy this whole thing and then i'm going to paste it here then I make it here cats data thereafter you just need to run this cell and here we have got our folder sample inside that we have got here cats and dog data once you have got here the cats and the dog data now we need to put here the cat and the dog data just for our sample so I'm gonna on internet I'm just gonna search here cat 300 by 300 picture a small picture so that i can get here with this image i'm just gonna download this particular cat all right otherwise you can download some other uh, image which you can keep a track but it's okay this this one i like really this one this cat okay so i'm just gonna uh, write here it as the cats and it is jpeg image so I write here cats.jpg thereafter I'm gonna search here dog you check it here I'm just gonna search it here dog 300 I'm just gonna take any of the dog here which I see uh, this one seems good to me I like this dog okay so I'm just gonna copy uh, save this image again and uh, this name image I'm gonna put here dogs dot jpg all right so we have got now the cats and uh, dog image now those image i'm gonna upload it here all right so i'm just gonna take these dog image from my download folder i'm just gonna put it here inside the dog and then the cat image i'm also gonna put it inside the cats there now if you check here the dog and the cat these images are here you can check there is cat and here is dog so we will be applying here data generator and uh, this data augmentation technique on these two images only so as of now you need to just understand the overall process so for that purpose we will be using these two image only we are not going to use a whole set of image all right thereafter i'm gonna here import all other necessary libraries which we will be using for data generator so i'm gonna write here from tensorflow dot keras dot preprocessing dot image import image data generator thereafter we also need matplotlib so that we can plot the image so i'm gonna write here import matplotlib.pyplot as plt all right i'm just gonna run it now here thereafter it shouldn't be throwing any error oh it is throwing an error so i need to write here if exist then then do not uh, throw any error so i say here if exist no uh, it should be exist underscore ok is equal to true so even though if directory exists do not throw the error so i need to put this here thereafter it will not throw the error ok so we already had uploaded our image cats and the dog now we have imported image data generator now we need to make here image data generator uh, object thereafter we will plot our generated images so I'm going to make here data gen is equal to image data generator. 
in this image data generator there are many parameter which you can pass if you remember previously we had seen in our tensorflow keras api library inside that we saw that image data generator can take all of these parameter but on, but but in our case we are going to use only these parameters so first of all we are going to test our image data generator our testing will be done with the random rotation so i pass here a parameter which is known as rotation underscore range and in this random rotation range i'm going to pass here 60 so what it will do here whatever the image we have it is going to randomly rotate these image with the 60 degree either left or right all right this is data generator with the rotation range 60 degree once you have this one thereafter we are gonna use here data generator flow from directory again data generator can be used with flow from directory flow from data flow from data frame and flow uh, and only flow so in flow from directory it takes data from the directory in flow from data frame it takes the data reference from the data frame and then it reads the images from the directory and in image data generator you can directly pass the data with the numpy array in flow directly there so we are going to read our data with flow from directory so we need to read this data so what I write here, I write here train underscore generator is equal to data gen dot flow from directory. Alright, so in this directory, we have actually stored our image inside sample. So I provide here flow from directory where we have sample. Other than that, we also need to provide here the target size. So, what should be the image size? So, it will keep, it, it will reshape all the image to the same shape here, which is 300 by 300. Thereafter, it has here the batch size is equal to 1. All right. So, in the batch size equal to 1, because anyway, it's number of, uh, you know, uh, the images are here just 1. So I'm just going to put here the batch size equal to 1. Once you have done all these, now you have got your train generator. You can simply click on here train generator. And if you check your train generator, there is the error seems like, okay, so this one is error. This is actually the rotation. I had written it rotation. Okay, so this is rotation. So we got here the train generator and in train generator you can get all the classes and uh, number of classes here we have train generator can produce you total number of samples here like this and file name all those things you can get it says that there are two classes because we have their two classes cats and the dogs and total number of samples are also there only two all right so we have got our data in train generator now in coming lectures we will be trying to understand how we can visualize this data all right i'll see you then